re this is an, a renewal for the original permit. Yeah. Um, well, when was the last? Oh, okay. So this is the original. It's going till June, I think. June of this year. Oh, yes. it's going till June. Okay. So that was a three-year permit. Yeah. Okay. Um, and for the sportsman's club, pass there. Well, I mean, we're just gonna really get going on it now. More prepping time and. So no, you you're looking for two year extension? Two year extension. I think we'll be done within a year, but that's that's fine. Two years is fine. That would bring it to April of eighteen. Um, move to extend the order conditions. Second. Motion made. Seconded. All in favor? Four in favor. One abstention. Sign any time. We'll do it after the meeting if you like. But while we're sitting here. Okay. Next on the list, um, we're going to continue the re request for determination for 300 Center Street. Anyone, anyone here for 300 Center? Yeah, that's me. I just wanted to see if you guys had any questions. We're just not ready to come forward with a plan or anything like that. I, a lot sure. of this is just putting all that together. What happened at that last meeting, just completely unexpected. Mm -hmm. So, and there's a lot of things going on well above me trying to figure out what to do and what to Okay, so you realize that right now we're just looking for information, right? <coughs> on, you know, on what happened with the property. That's, that's all we're looking for right now is information. Okay. Then so maybe clarify. Well, okay. So so we don't. All right. So we have a so we have a plan of what was there before. Okay. What's supposed to be there as of record. Okay. What the what the record says. Okay. Right. And then obviously we have some kind of filling that went on there. There's been some kind of activity over the years that basically we see that's inconsistent with what was the approved plan. Okay. So. Um, I, I think if we have the right information, in other words, if we if we know if we know where the wetland line is, and, and guys, you can stop me anytime you want, but but I think what we're looking for is we're looking for the information of what's out there now compared to what should be there, and then we can determine what what needs to be done. I don't think that the board, and I only speak for myself, I don't think I would have a problem with allowing the septic system to be installed if we had that information. So in other words, if we know what's been done out there. And we know what you want to do, then I think I think I would be okay with with saying it's all right to move forward with the septic system, provided that we have an as built of what's out there. Because right now we, that's our uncertainty. You, you know what I mean? So if we, I don't know if the board wants to take a vote on this or not, but I would move that we accept a full as built plan of the entire property and then vote to um, you know vote to move forward with installation of the septic system, provided that we have the accurate information on what's out there. Then if there's an enforcement issue, we can deal with it after. But but I think that until we have the information, I, I wouldn't be comfortable with making any determination out there. So I would say that the original request to, was to continue the meeting. So let's go with that. Sure. Um, thank you for the clarification. Yep. I'm going to bring that back. For us as new owners, they're kind of intertwined. If, if, if the board is still intending at some point to do enforcement of some action, then as the owners, we're still trying to figure out who, what, where, and when. Gotcha. Figuring out the record uh, of plan is part of that piece. I understand that's all you may be interested in at this point. At this point. But what I'm hearing is there could be more coming down the road. So as the ownership group of the new ownership group, we're still trying to figure out the timeline, yeah. who owns what, because we understand that property has changed hands several times, and not just the owner purchase from. Right. Um, there was the developer who, from when I went through the meeting minutes, it seemed didn't get along too well with the CONCON back 20 years ago. So um, it, it, it's, it's uh, you know, trying to figure out how all that, what, what transpired and how it got to the present condition is part of my story. I'm trying to figure out True. the whole thing. So I understand what you're saying and I'd appre I appreciate that. Um, but if the board is still debating 
further action after I get the septic approval, then I still need to prepare for everything and, and figure all that out. So yeah. let's just go with the continuance for now. Yeah. And when I'm okay, ready to great. give you everything, including now that I understand you, that's really the first thing you're interested in is in the record for the rear. If I may just, uh, may just interject, does the board feel that way? Is that the feeling without taking a formal vote? Does the board feel as though as if we had a plan in front of us of the information that we require that we could we could pass we could pass the project through on a request for the termination pending whatever future action the board may take if there's a, indeed a violation out there because we think that there is so well depending yeah. upon uh, depending upon the <coughs> amount of work that's going to be done um, and how close it is to the wetland I mean it's still borderline where a notice of intent might be the best route you know not necessarily a, a request for determination so um, you know we haven't um, we only had that one first meeting we haven't looked at it since then right. okay so and and you know and if you're looking for a continuance tonight we're not going to look at it again so I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. where that would end no. up. So, you know, uh, it could be a notice of intent or it could be a request for determination depending on how sensitive the area is and, and the amount of work that's being right. done. Right, well, I think the original project, I mean, um, because it was relatively far away on a relatively impervious front and we were just fringing buffers, mm -hmm. we thought an idea would be it. All the stuff that we're talking about seems to be stuff going on in other parts of the parcel. Right. So so the stuff that we're talking about in the front, if we didn't have the stuff in the rear, probably an RDA would be easier. Just you know, put in your said it's hay bales and right. and be fine. Maybe that's not the case, but generally I, I mean, that's what we were thinking back then. All the stuff that's come about has right. put the whole project Oh, we understand. <laughs> no. And we're, we're just trying to work, you sure. know, to be as advantageous to you as we can possibly That's okay, be. But, but, but because we're sensing yeah. that there's more work than this, yeah. right. then we're all stepping back as yeah. the new ownership group trying to figure out I understand. what we got. Yeah. You know, I mean, but this project right here, it's, it's just, you know. And that's where your existing system is. Yeah, but right yeah, you're talking about all these things back there, though, right? Yeah, yeah. it is, but, but the, you know, under the Wetlands Protection Act, the entire property is, is relevant. Absolutely. And, and that's I, really where we're coming from. Absolutely. You know, but we're, we're so, not so we not knowing we were going to get discussing the act, yeah. because we didn't hear about it. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. We came sure. in thinking like this, yeah. RD. So to your question, so, we so thought an RD would be easy to identify. Well, it would. <laughs> uh, the only thing is, is when, when, the, the, when there are wetlands on the property, we normally request a plan showing us everything on the property so we have a better understanding instead of just a section of the property mm. that gives us a better understanding of how the potential work that's proposed could impact the wetlands okay so um well, it i don't like think you're, it's you're gonna get it anyway yeah i mean it does, you know i mean i, I don't think it's and we're, not, you know, we're not trying to be muscle heads here no, we're no. just trying to we're just trying to get compliance for the property that's that's really no, no. and again i'm not and, and that's why i'm here also i yeah. mean we're, we're i'm not trying to we're just we're just of course. It's got a lot of people yep. in a lot of different places thinking we understand. where'd all this yep. come from. So yep. Yep. and I just wanted to come here because it's been two meetings and I'm about to continue it again. Yep. Yep. And uh, that's fine. And I just wanted to see if you guys had any questions and thank you for the clarification. But just I mean once you have a plan ready if it, it sure. you know, if it's uh, you don't have to present it at a meeting, you can the sooner you get it to us we can sure. look the plan over. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then we, if we have any questions we'll have them for you at the meeting instead of us having to think about it and maybe continue it to another meeting, we might not have questions. I'm just saying if there is. I, I assure you the septic system is on the back burner. Oh. <laughs> 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 this is, you know, this is, I'm okay, so it's your, so, so it's so we'll your request to continue? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. Terrific. Just just make sure you call us to extend absolutely, absolutely. On, on the, you know, the three weeks. You guys are great. Yeah, great. She's been great. She's been very, very helpful. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot, Thank you. Take care. We need a motion. Yes. Yeah. Motion to continue the uh, RDA for three hundred Street until what's until the next May meeting? May sixteenth. May sixteenth at seven thirty p.m. Motion made. Second. All in favor? That's unanimous. Okay.
Uh, what do you guys get? Three for? something. Three forty-five. Three forty-five. Three thirty-four. Excuse me. Okay, we're gonna continue notice of intent. DEP one eight two zero four eight three three thirty-four North Franklin. Good evening. For the applicant. Yep. Sure. I provide six plants out. Three by eight plants. And four drainage caps. If you want to read them out, I leave them for you. Thank you. If you have a question, say you go. Good evening, for the record, I'm Anthony Cuba. I'm with me as uh, Jeff Youngquist from uh, Alpharetta Engineering. I think that we, uh, following our conversation when I was here three weeks ago, I think we've pretty much done everything that was requested by the Commission as far as um, what you wanted to see on the site. So just running through it real quick, one of the things we talked about was um, putting a fence in and separating um, the paved area from the um, resource area so that someone can't push a snow plow over the back. So the fence is going to be added from the propane tank to the back of the building and tie in over here. Another uh, section of fence will be added in this section alongside the building over here. The second page is the development page. Yeah, the first page is the existing division. That's the existing division straight up the public right? Now, one of the concerns was that the vehicles and parts of the vehicles and snow was being uh, deposited in the parked in the uh, pervious area. So we're adding 200 square feet of pervious here, uh, impervious, I'm sorry, here and another 100 square feet in the triangular section here. Uh, those will be the areas where cars that are parked on the site or in service mm -hmm. will not be parked on pervious. Right. And the same thing with uh, snow. We be, we'll keep all the snow on, on uh, impervious areas, so it'll mm -hmm. end up in the catch basin and the electrification system. Yeah. Okay, so then the other, quite, the other uh, requirement was that we did something to try to treat the uh, uh, water on the site. So as mentioned, the first thing that we, we uh, we're infiltrating the roof drains. The, roof, uh, <coughs> the runoff from the site will be uh, uh, significantly decreased as far as uh, the sheet flow because of the infiltration system. We're taking the roof drains that presently just uh, uh, discharge to the surface, and those will be uh, routed underground to the infiltration system, which will be a, uh, a vaulted uh, system that will be on the south side of the lot, south of the um, the um, stuff that hits the pavement will all be captured by two catch basins, one in each driveway. Those catch basins, the deep sump catch basins, they have, they have hoods in them, so they have some rudimentary uh, oil trap function to them. Um, each one will, ho will hold tens of gallons of, um, of uh, flowing product if there was a spill on the site. That would be the initial response. And because they're uh, set up in series, uh, the first catch basin that's just in front of the tanks is the primary one that would be uh, affected by the tanks. <coughs> it would hit that one, then hit the next one, and then go to the storm scepter, which also provides some uh, flow and contaminant separation and some small amount of storage. And then that will go into the infiltration system. The calcs will show that the uh, TSS removal will be 93%. I was, I, when I was talking last time, I said I didn't think it would meet the 80% requirement, but it went way over, so that's wow. not a problem. In fact, that's the smallest unit they make, but because this lot is so small, it's way oversized for yeah. the lot. So it's got to be H22, so. Yep, yeah. that's not a problem. Right. So one thing that's um, the two impervious areas, the 300 square feet minor um, impact there, which we were not proposing to make any uh, change to the pavement, so we are showing that now. That's an increase in the impact to the site. And then the discharge from the, from the system will be alongside the south, uh, side of the building. We're going to try to move this back and daylight the pipe as soon as we can, so we'll, we'll try to get it as far from that corner as possible. But until we actually get out there and see exactly how it lays out, it will be somewhat in that area. So just be a small riprap area where that pipe's going to outflow? Correct. Okay. And that'll just spill out into the wetland after it's done? Yeah. Um, now, closer the probably the better, because it would pull it farther away from the wetland lines. Correct. Yeah. 
Oh, the infiltration system will handle up to 25 years. Yeah. So you're not going to see that. Yeah. It's going to be really rare that you're going to have anything coming out of there. Yeah. Well, in the event of a spill, that would be my thought. In the event of a spill, you're talking about the two catch basins are going to provide significant storage. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the infiltration system itself, the right. storm scepter has some uh, ability and the infiltration system itself. Yeah. The personnel on site will be trained to react to a spill, close up the catch basins, or try to keep that on the surface and react to it that way, absorb yeah. it before it actually gets into the right. into the infiltration system at all. But I doubt anything would get outside of the infiltration yeah. system. Now, do they have spill kits on site? Yes, they do. Um, so um, it looks to me like you're um, you're taking the area that you have for parking right now and just making it pervious. Obviously, there'll be no parking on impervious. I mean, uh, um, making, you know, in other words, correct. Yeah, the, the surface is impervious right now. You're making it impervious. Is that going to be burned to uh, catch any, any kind of runoff? It's sloped towards the street, so um, I, didn't, I don't know that there's a need yeah. to put a berm on it. But okay, that's fine. You know, I mean, well, it's, it's sloped away from the road. No, that's street. fine. If it's sloped that way, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, again, we just, the site's been kind of uncleanly for quite some time. We just want to make sure. The, most of the reason why you're doing all this is to contain any of the slop that's been there, you know, and it's like, it looks to me like you've, you've gone beyond what we've expected, I would say, as far as, you know, the cleanup of the surface. I mean, I, I don't see that this is, this is um, a definite improvement to the area, and I, I, honestly, I think it's, I think it's fine. Do we, do we have a DEP number? Yes. And it's been assigned, and they, no comments from them? DEP 182. Four eight three. Okay. And um, just uh, the only thing I don't see here is um, just siltation protection when you're going to excavate that pipe over here. Oh, I mean, yeah. are you going to silt protect the entire site? We're, sh <coughs> we're showing this. This is be the siltation line here. Oh, okay, we'll that's not right a guide back up to the building. No. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. And and uh, you'll notice in the detail we're using the. The, the siltation method that you prefer is yes, the so strong. Oh, I see. The proposed chain link yeah. fence is different. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This this plan because it really uh, was done by Outback to emphasize yeah. the infiltration system and the runoff and the stormwater report does not doesn't necessarily show the fencing, but we'll we'll be putting that vi the white vinyl fencing in here okay. and across here. Yeah. All right. So we'll just condition that in the order conditions. Perfect. I think. Mm -hmm. I have no other comments except uh, motion to. Close the public Anybody else? No comments. Motion to close. Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Uh, Mr. Chair, I move that we order um, that we approve the order conditions to DEP file 182. 483. 483. Um, with uh, special order conditions um, added um, along with. Um, the wording for the fencing uh, to put in the special order conditions. Motion made. Second. Second. All in favor? Mm -hmm. All right. That's mm -hmm. it. I do have one thing I wanted to add. I think last time we were talking about the timing of the project and trying to get it done in May. Sure. Because of the lead time on the tanks and because of the structure coming up and because of a, an obligation we just picked up to take out a fuel oil plant that has to be done during the summer months so it won't be out of service during the winter heating season. Sure. We may not be doing this until, say, September or something like that. That's but fine. It will definitely be done. What are conditions sure. to be ready in the next couple of three weeks? Before right. the next meeting, anyway. So awesome. Okay. All right, very good. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Nice to see you, Jeff. It's been a while. All right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Take care of yourself. I'm trying yeah, to. I know. I'll. There's one thing about it. Hey, I'm slowing down. Yeah. I'm taking it easy. I didn't recognize it until I looked at the plan that I put the voice together and I said, that's Jeff. <laughs> nice to see you. All right. Good. All right. Very good. All Thank right. you. All right. So we got a brand report. We can file with that. That was good. Was nice job. That's going to improve that site oh, yeah. immensely. Can I have his comment out there? Did you want? Oh, yeah. He's on his way. Okay. So Jamie's here. We're going to yep. talk to Jamie. Hi, Jamie. All right. So let's uh, continue the uh, informal discussion on Two Phillips Road.
working conditions, I believe is how it was left. I brought in a site plan. Um, Did you have the minutes from the last meeting? The engineer, well, the engineer, I guess, is, um, I'm sure we can get a copy of the plan from the engineer. Um, is it Charlie? Yeah. Okay. Um, Yeah, we'll have to give him a call and request the plan. Um, the previous owner didn't give you any plans? No. He gave me a pile of, like, like I said, he he had, I think, I don't know if he had a meeting with you guys. He did. And he, at some point, he retained somebody. He yes. said, come on, did some surveying and yep. stuff. And I see, I see a uh, copy of the check that he wrote them for like 1500 and it never went anywhere. The guy never really came back. He didn't finish what he was doing. I don't know what the case was, but that's the story I got. And I, he basically handed this folder over to me from the whole property. His utility bills, everything, you know, a while ago at the point when I was looking at purchasing and trying to figure out the tax store and all that stuff. Um, yeah. So all that stuff was just in there. He didn't ask for it back. So I went through it all. I asked him if he had anything additional. He said that was it. Mm -hmm. um, one thing you had mentioned, and I, and I thought about it after I left, I mean, it, there is, and I said I was in a hurry to do it, but eventually I wanted to put that building back up on that footprint. Um, and you had mentioned a couple of times, um, an alternative to a lot of this would be to just file a plan to develop the property, putting the building back, site drainage, yes. you know, the whole, yep. the whole thing. And what, I, what I've done since is I went back to the surveyor and asked him, you know, if he works with a civil engineer who can do all this. And so I think I'm going to move forward in that direction. Um, that would curb enforcement action if you were moving toward compliance, which okay. would be basically filing a notice of intent with a, with a plan that would show improvements to the riverfront area. So, yeah. you, you know, that would, you know, okay. that, that would keep the board from enforcing, you know, the provisions of the Wetlands Protection Act. So, okay. um, what time frame are we talking about? I mean, is this a, maybe you're going to go forward? Or the survey or, no, no, at this point, at, like I said, after I left that night, I thought about it because you had mentioned yeah. it a couple of times and right. I said, you know what, it is something I'm eventually going to do. Yeah. Um, I wasn't in a big hurry, but in the same sense, it was going to be a year or so I would right. come back to look to do that. So to push it forward a little, yeah. I, I thought about it and the survey is, you know, he staked the land, he did the topography, he did some of the small preliminary stuff. Right. So for him to go get, and I work with an engineer right out of um, Weymouth as mm -hmm. far as putting the structure up, yep. back up, mm -hmm. and then to add in the site stuff, um, I'm going to go through my same, I don't have a time to answer your question. I, I texted, uh, I actually called a couple times a survey who I have a long relationship with, trying to kind of get that answer from him because I also don't know who he decided to go with, whether it was, um, he does work with Cassell and then um, I think there was another guy, Murphy, who was local, maybe a Braintree guy. So I was going to kind of go do everything through my surveyor. Um, mm -hmm. So he texted me and said he was out to dinner <coughs> and we'd talk in the morning. So I don't know what a typical time frame on something like that is. I, I told him about this meeting tonight. Um, yeah, so I, mean, I don't know if another month I would I should be able to have something for you, I'd imagine. Yeah, I mean, design anywhere from a month to two months, and then we would want a notice of intent filed by summertime. You know? yeah. I mean, that, that would be realistic. Um, what, what we're more concerned about is any further, um, you know, disarray of the property. In other words, like, you really can't, like, once you file with us, that order of conditions is going to be specific as to how the work kind of gets done, yeah. um, you know, siltation and protection against the river. Yeah. all that sort of thing you know you're gonna have plantings in there I mean you don't necessarily have to go forward with the project but you're gonna still be limited as to the activity on the site so um, just something to consider once you have a notice of intent you really have to you really have to abide by that notice of intent and yeah. I, I can't see us putting major restrictions on the time I mean you have three years to exercise and to execute it and you could you could potentially extend it but mm -hmm. um, at, at this point because the property was you know kind of turned upside down without permits, um, we're not too likely to be exactly lenient, you know what I mean? We want to yeah. see, we want to see progress. Yeah. So uh, if you want to speak to your um, engineer and or your surveyor, get back to us at the next meeting as to what you think a time, a reasonable timeline might be, I think the board would consider it. Okay. And it would, it would definitely be a, a good, um, you know, avenue for us to take rather the enforcement side because, um, again, because it's on a riverfront, DEP is, you know, 
um, going to have some say in it. And we, you know, they're, they're not very, they're not as nice as us. So, you yeah. know, we want to see, see if you're subject to that. Now, when you go to file that notice of intent, DEP will review it. And then they'll have comments as to what, you know, you can and can't do. So they'll, they'll you know, that along with Army Corps of Engineers will also be reviewing it. But that's stuff that the engineers will take care of for you. you know? Yeah, yeah. So our biggest concern is that you don't go any further with any activity over there, that you limit, you know, you, you keep any machinery away from that river. Don't don't push any dirt around. Don't take in any fill. Don't do anything until okay. you get a project file with us, and then and then we'll work with it from there. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So when's the next one? May sixteenth. May sixteenth. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So All maybe some kind of plan of writing or something, or you know, yeah. you know, just acknowledge the fact that we've had this discussion, and then just you know something, you know, that we can we can grab okay. onto and say that he's working with us. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Great. All right. Thank, Thank you, James. Thank you. Oh, Frank. <laughs> he said he wasn't because he calls you know, me all the time. He's got, somehow I got my cell phone number. He called oh, really? Me. I, yeah. did, I didn't give it to him. Mr. Beforty. Okay. Um, I got 300 bucks on that number. Also on the list, we have um, <laughs> 6 George Road. Um, oh, that's continued till uh, May 16th. Yeah, we don't have to Wait. do anything with that tonight. Okay. They, they have till May 16th to give us our, our notice of intent. Okay. We so also there's need no, there has then no, no updates or anything? No. Okay. No action. What about the town we'll get in the email? Forest. Uh, oh. The lady asked for continuance. The she called the owner. The homeowner. No, yeah, the okay, homeowner. The homeowner. She's she not ready uh, okay. with the plan yet. Oh, all right. Okay. Cool. So Any comment from the forest committee? Really? That's how they're driving? Because I guess we will have to submit it as soon as she brings it in. I will okay. send it to all the right. forest committee. Okay. And but have they responded to any of your emails? No. We just sent one requesting. Right, okay. And that was at the first meeting, right? Not the very, very first, the second. The second, right, okay. So they would have responded by now and said, hey, we get some interest. Yeah, they, um, were, they were taking all the pictures and stuff running around. Like, were they? Yeah. When? Um, when it's first developed. Um, oh, yeah. Was it a know. while back? Or no, I mean, I'm talking. I don't know when he took the photos, but when I'm talking yeah. to Tim Gordon six weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, he had pictures of the guns, Eagle Day thing. Yeah. They were down there, and the forest lady was down there. Oh, okay. I was down there today. At the driveway. So, um, could we send a letter to the oh, town forest committee and yeah. asking them if they do Talk have any uh, interest in? Um, the meetings that we're having and and um, notify if, them if, when the next one. Yeah, is if so, is. you know, the, uh, we'd like to hear their input. I'd like, yeah, we've asked for it, right? <laughs> now let's formally ask for it and see if that changes anything. I I just wouldn't. I would just be shocked that they didn't have any comment about it because I would too. But yeah. you know, at least we're yeah. extending the offer. That's fine. So, yep. yeah. Uh, it's going to be public notice before we do any transaction then with land. We've talked about going down there to see that land swap area. Mm -hmm. You haven't done that, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go down? I'll get yeah. up to Ryan. Absolutely. Check with that lady. And uh, you don't have to. You can park right there on the sign. Uh, yeah, we're going to go in the back there. Town forest. And I'm assuming the IDA for Keolis Purple uh, Line. They asked for continuance. We're going to the back to property. So we're talking about okay, that land so swap. Yeah. We have I'll a call. Yeah, I'll move to here. continue yeah, uh, Keolis, um, which is DEP file. It's, no, it's an idea. Oh, it's an idea. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so motion to continue until May 16th, 7.30 p.m. Second motion. motion. Second, all in favor? It's unanimous. And for the record, Joe Davenport is present. Joe, just so you know, we um, we tabled 300 Center Street. There is a big legal battle going on right now, and they don't know what they're going to do uh -huh. because there's major violations on the property. I told them that if, if the board would, would consider allowing the septic system to be installed if we had an asphalt for the entire property. Um, oh, yes, I remember. He, yeah, he and then, was and hearing then things can, for the first time yeah. from us, as I recall. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. We, and we, will, yeah. we can handle enforcement action separately uh, aside from the septic, but we need to have an asphalt, or right. we vote to have a notice of intent, one of the two. So that's what that ended up with. Which yeah, and it was their, you know, um, their 
it was their request to continue it, not ours. You know, we haven't brought it to a vote. It was their their request, so um, we, it sounds like it's their they're tabling it. They're putting it on the back burner for now. So we approved the gas station. They put a really nice storm septic system in, drain, fencing, the whole it's beautiful over there. All they gotta do is make it happen now. Yeah. It'll be a better world. <laughs> better world for everyone. And uh, that's about it. We're just waiting for Frank Joseph. If he doesn't Frank get here in 15 minutes, he's gone. We also need to pick up next six uh, meeting. I did highlight it, but I just want you to double check if okay. you agree with my highlights. Okay, so. Um, agenda, quickest meeting ever. Mm. You can see in my future. Yeah, I'm like, you covered how much stuff? Yeah. <laughs> we have, so we took um, all the big ones. <laughs> around, Joe. Do we have the extension permit for lot 77? This is the one that we said we're not going to give them any more on. Remember last year? Remember that, Joe, last year? That order conditions um, extension request? In Westdale? We, yeah, we said we'd give them one more year. Well, it's one more year. Well, I mean, I think in all fairness with everything that's happened down there, there's definitely progress down there now. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely to the point now where, you know, He's definitely making progress. I, I would say, in my opinion, I would. We're I just would. waiting for a buyer for lot one, right? I mean, that's all it is. This is lot one. Um, no, he's looking for an extension. That one hasn't been built out yet. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying, though. This this one's been extended several times since 2004. Yes. Well, more than that. There you go, right there. 2001. I guess the board would just have to decide if um, we feel as though the wetland line might have changed. Do we think it's changed down there? Um, 2001. Yeah, that plan is old. 2001 right there, October 5th. <coughs> oh, I, I know what this one. With the banking that's there, I would say probably not because it is a cliff. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it definitely hasn't come onto the property right. anymore because the, 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 I mean, you're right. Yeah. 114 wetland line, you, you're 132. I mean, that's a, that's a heck of a jump there, you know, so. Um, I move to extend it another year. Then. I don't think it's a problem. Okay. It's not doing anything. So. Well, 
motion to extend. Second. Second. All in favor? Yeah, the DEP file number is, um, the original number is 182305. So extend for a period of one year. Uh, date will expire on April 25th, He's here. Look at you know. I looked up and all of a sudden he was there. He just appeared. That was freaky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right up, and that meeting with the governor. Uh, so did you really? I was trying to get some money for his town and local. No kidding. Yeah, good. You know, I knew you were on our team. <laughs> okay. Um, you just voted to extend your permit for what? Eighty for one year. Even though we said we wouldn't do it, we did. No, no further uh, extensions uh, there. Right. No, that's it. Don't ever ask again. Yeah. Lot 77. Oh, sorry, Lot 77. <laughs> that is, uh, um, yeah. It's under construction right now. It is. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, okay, so we're going to continue the notice of intent, DEP 1820482, Westdale Road, Lot 80. Did your engineer draw that in, Frank, or did you? He drew it. <laughs> he wrote it in? I researched it, he drew it. Piping the town spouts into the ground. I did notice from most of this wetland to the test point five years ago what happened. Even though, you know, it's not that much yeah. area that we're talking about the runoff yeah. from the brooks and the, and the driveways, but when you put the water into the ground, that seeps in. This is sitting about 15, 20 feet above the, the, well, the right. ground yeah. level, right. ground water level. Yeah. So this water that comes into this pit, it radiates down. Yeah. It doesn't reach down. Yeah, it's not supposed to. And the reason why, let me just, if I can just interrupt you, right? The reason is not to put it back into the wetland. The, the reason for the water recharge is to recharge it into the ground and send clean water down to the aquifer. It doesn't always go to the wetland. You, you know what I'm saying? No, so but the water that you taken away from running into the wetlands. Yeah, but you're not supposed to increase it. That's why you don't you, increase you, the runoff to the wetlands. You, you don't increase anything. No, I know. That's, so that's why you put it in a roof drain, so you don't no, charge the wetlands. You, you know, the, the runoff is going to go into the wetland anyhow. It's yeah, wasn't, but it's wasn't not necessarily. Yeah, but see, it could be absorbed into the ground before it gets to the wetland, yeah, which would be like Bill just said. But the wetland, if you take it some water out, it's going to dry up. No, no, no. You know, the, the idea about the wetland, Frank, and this is this is what every every wetland scientist will say: you're not supposed to add water or take water away. And the reason why you're taking the impervious runoff and putting it into the ground is so there's no change to the wetland. That's the whole idea. So the recharge going into the ground goes goes into the ground where it should, not 
necessarily into the weapon, you know. Yeah, but you're changing the people, you're decreasing the ones that goes into the weapon. No, you're not decreasing or increasing. You're, you're it's gonna be the same. Yeah. Yep. But that's how it's supposed this, to be. This thing here adds four to five thousand dollars to the cost of that gun. I understand that, but this is the regulation. So for for those sums? Huh? Yeah, you put the two those two sums in, all the carbon work. That's four, five thousand bucks. I did it for about thirteen hundred. That's what it cost me. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm just. It doesn't really matter what they cost. The point is that they're in. Right. It's what we require when we're in a wetland area, and yeah. it's it's I'm not. not gonna argue with no, no, that's fine. You don't have to. I just. I don't even have to be right. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, that's what it is. Okay, so we gave us we gave us what we needed. Uh, I'm going to make a motion to close the hearing on DEP file 182-0482. Lot 80? Yes, lot 80. Second. Motion made. Second. All in favor? That's unanimous. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion at this time to approve an order conditions with the special permit conditions attached for DEP file 182-0482, West Hero Road, lot 80. Motion made. Second. All in favor? That's unanimous. Can I ask one thing? Yes. On this, uh, this is lot 80 and lot 81. Uh, it shows uh, the year the contours on lot 81 too. It's grading. It's not going to be only a little portion goes into the buffer zone. Well, since it's permitted under this one, do I have to come back for a notice of intent on 81 too? Uh, do you have the plan? This is 80 and 81 together. Um, the the grading, the grading that goes into 81, the wetland is way, way down here. And it goes this way. The wetland goes this way. So we, Whatever's in this buffer zone is already under this. Uh, if there's wetlands on the property at no. minimum, all right. So I'm just need a request. It's a request for determination. So it's an easier form of a notice of intent. But because each lot needs its own separate recording, I don't think you, if there's wetlands on the property, you have to do some kind of. File. Just to only a little bit to a corner comes yeah. within the under this buffer. That may qualify for a request for determination, okay. which is a little easier than a notice of intent. Okay. Still requires notification, but uh, that might, you know, be a little bit more advantageous. Yeah. Um, how's the board? What's the board think of that? Okay. Uh, yeah. It's if just one corner of the of the area is in the wetlands, right. then yeah. But you you want to propose a plan that's going to have the roof drains on it as well. So uh, that's uh, yeah. probably. It doesn't matter. It's still charging into the wetlands, so. But again, a request for determination should be adequate. All right. Like I said, it, this is going to be a mess. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So motion to uh, consider a certificate of compliance for DEP file. Yeah. One eight two three six nine Westdale Road, lot seventy eight. Erosion control resuscitating blank uh, blankets that I could find to to stabilize the slopes. So that just stays on there until the grass grows. Yeah, this is the this is dissolved. Dissolved by the breeze. Dissolved. Yeah, dissolved. Dissolved. 
Do you have grass under it right now? Yes. So you already planted the grass seed? Yes. And that, that'll just grow right through the plastic? Right, yeah. It's like a... It's like a whole bunch of grass back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, a, it's like a mat, but it's a... It very holds the, stave, uh, the slope stable, right? Right. Yeah, keeps the rain out. And plus it puts a little heat in the soil. Enough service to the rain yeah. without spraying the seed pit. Is it, is it that material plastic? Yeah, it looks like okay, a Okay, so. No, that, that's the. the that's the wrapper that it's in. Wrap. Okay. <laughs> this is like a cloth, like a mesh, right? Yeah, it's Yeah, a mesh. okay, all right. I know uh, it's everything is biodegradable. Degradable. Yeah, right. Even the spikes that hold it down, it's oh, okay. degradable. Oh, that's not it. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no this is the pictures over here. <laughs> so we've already issued a partial. No, no. This is Today. Okay. Did we already vote on it? It's no, yeah, yeah, yeah. checked yeah. off. Keep us signed it. But I prepared okay. for you. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, so we're going to vote for a partial today. And then 90 days when it's all grown, and we'll come back for a permanent one, right? Yes. Well, that's, that's all, uh, that's all yeah, stabilized. Yeah. Right. yeah, no, we can't, yeah, we yeah. can't issue it until it's completely, the grass is growing. I mean, that's, you know. I did this. Uh, I built out a uh, house in 79, mm -hmm. 79 to the left of it, and uh, I put this language over there too. Okay. But that did not, does not require, do not require notice of intent because it's outside of the I traffic see. zone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this will be a partial, and then you can renew it in a couple of months when it's all grown up. This is where that whole erosion control thing yeah. is, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so a motion to approve a partial certificate of compliance to DEP file number 182 uh, 369, Westdale Road Extension, Lot 78. Second. Third. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Do we have a closing tomorrow? On this? We can sign it right now. The, the, the buyer sold the close of a Stanley Care House last week. Mm -hmm. She had no place to go, so I had to let her. Oh, me. okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Well, listen, we don't want to hold up progress. She, she said, What well, I'm going to do with the kids and my husband? <laughs> uh, I said, We'll think about something. So I gave her the keys and said, Go ahead. We need it. the most satisfaction he's ever got from this board at one time I know, three, 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 in your whole history. Three swings of the bat. We didn't say no to anything, did we? 20, 25 years. Yeah. We didn't say no to anything, Frank. Send me a thing about 276 Pine Street. Um, someone came to us and worked on there. And they went back and took a look. Go down to Dick with it. And if you go down Pine Street, the road is that gravel there. road? Uh, that gravel road that goes in to the front. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I didn't realize it was going to be like physical again. But mm -hmm. looking at the back, there's like a, it's supposed to used to be a, a storage shed or a yeah. barn or something. Yeah, I, I think I saw that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the guy lives in there. Oh, really? And he's putting in a new sep replacement septic tank. Oh, and he's going to add on a one story extension. Okay. And so we looked at you know, the wetlands out back beyond the stone wall out back. Yeah. So it's like over 200 feet to the stone wall. Oh, okay. So that's still kind of a nice thing. Yeah, that whole area is a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it's a. Yeah. There used to be a farm and stuff. Yeah, well, more like yeah. fields, pastures, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So we looked at that one. And then there was one on um, Clement Street. Scrub lawn yeah. bushes and stuff. And the guy wants to you know, clear that yeah. scrub out of there because the kids play there and get cut up. So, and there's neighbors that on the other side, it's a common island.
Ben would clear up his eyes. Well, he wants to have his eyes. And again, I said the wet ones and not even thinking about that. Okay. Just don't want to yep. have that in him. Happy day. Yeah. What are you reading? Well, this is a partial certification, right? Yeah. So there's a line where we have to list what it is we're certifying. I hereby certify that only the following portions of the law are the above reference oil conditions and then satisfy the certification. Um, so we have to let, okay, as built plant, right? Elevation. What else? Partial stabilization. Do I have to cite that? I would say it's full knowledge covered with basics. Yeah. That's, that's what we're certified as being done. Yeah, stabilization. partial stabilization. So we just got to write that in? Yeah. Okay. All right, so he wants to walk away with this right now, so. You got a hand right again? Yeah. And uh, Tim was just pointing out things. Yeah, okay. So, um, everyone agree because you already signed it. Yes. <laughs> we just got to put partial stabilization as built cement. And explain that all. As built cement. We're certifying what's completed. Yeah. yeah. Everything else is what's so the built is completed, right? Yeah. And the partial stabilization is completed. So that means that yeah. everything okay. that he proposed is pretty much on the plan. It's shown and it's, it's partially stabilized. It's if we were listing what was not done, we'd, we'd be issuing a non certification. Yeah, <laughs> right. Actually, yeah. yeah. No, no. Yeah. yeah, it almost reads like we did it backwards. Yeah. I know. The easy way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That makes sense to them. Does it say what how long it's good for? Is it 90 days? Is there a time limit on it? No. No. Well, I don't think so. Yeah. No, we're, we're, what we're saying on there is it's done, done. Yeah. Right. Okay. But that's forever. That's correct. Yeah. yeah, that's forever, it, and then we have to go back and revisit what's not. Right, I see. Yeah. That should be a permanent certification. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so if it never comes so back, it was the a partial certification. Right. Yeah, we've had those before, too, you know, when nobody's come back yeah. or even got a They come back. Yeah, don't They'll come back. back when they're selling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 When, when one of the lawyers at one of the banks is finally awake enough to yeah. do their homework. Right? Yeah. Okay, so no other business? Well, we're going to, uh, did we want to certify these dates? Yeah, we're going to Yeah, let's see. Yeah. And did you want to do them all the way to December? Or should we get them highlighted all the way to December? I think we have enough people where somebody's going to miss a meeting. It's not going to be a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple here yeah, where I'll be away. We could ask Jason to make a guest appearance. So. November, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jason will be done landscaping right around November. Yeah. He'll, be, he'll be plowing snow. Yeah. Probably heading to New Hampshire, yeah. snowing up there tomorrow. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Three inches of snow. Yeah, but it'll be high, high ground. Up there. So Frank, I'll come out and see you in Walter and battle with me in the building department. No. No. <laughs> I'm too spring protected. Yeah. Spring is the formula for crops anyway. So many people have just died at the time of need. Really. Wow. Yeah. Boring. It's crazy, huh? At 50, 59 years old. Yep. Oh, you gonna wake up? Oh. Yeah, no, huh? yeah heroin's a big problem too. Oh no, you wouldn't even drive. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you got, you have a uh, kind of a cold. You need a blanket. Yeah. It's cool, but it's, it's just blanket. Wow. Uh, Dangerous. Uh, it's 
can work out. All right, well, thank so you very much, I Mr. Giozzo. Uh, this week, the same email yep. came up. Really? Last week, two. <laughs> Look, God willing them all. <laughs> well, it's May 16th so already, one of our dates. Nice to see you. Yes. Yes. Take care. Sorry, yes. Nothing worse. So this is the last one? Yes. Okay. So I move that we approve the following dates for upcoming Conservation Commission meetings. <coughs> At 730 p.m. in the town hall on June 6th, June 27th, July 18th, August 8th, August 29th, September 19th, October 3rd, and October 24th, November 14th, December 5th, and December 26th. Oh, May 6th. Damn, it's there. Motion made, second. Second. Mm-hmm. Motion to adjourn the public meeting. Second. Motion made, second. All in favor. <laughs> we adjourn. Now that was a few weeks ago. We ran that out already. Go, huh? Bam. <laughs> Get her done. That was good. I, I, I saw that. I was like, oh, man. Yeah, what was it? Before August 8th? <laughs> before August 8th? Yeah. It was July 18th. And the two in June are June yeah, 6th uh, and June 27th. Oh, yeah. 27th? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're going to go out there uh, yeah, Saturday? Saturday? I won't be able to make. Well, I guess yeah, I can go. In November. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. 14th? Mm-hmm. I can Saturday. go anywhere, yeah. Yeah. So will this room keep being different every week we come in? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, they were trying to do what, Joe, Joe, what they're trying to do is get the best view of me that they could possibly get. <laughs> for the camera? I'm the one that's coming out. Right right the I'm, the, I'm the ringleader. I'm the troublemaker. I got legal troubles everywhere. What's one more? Right. And, and now, you think that that's actually a display case, but it's a two-way mirror. It is. It's yeah. definitely yeah. a two-way mirror. <laughs> that's right. Yep. All those microphones hanging down, they're all directed at me. Oh, really? Do they have enough of them for this, yeah. for this oh, size wow. room, really? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's all good. And uh, it's probably a good thing that they put two of them as close as possible to, yeah. what, the air filter? Right. Well, if they're connected to anything, no. Yeah. Like that. So we oh, are web issuing <laughs> the orders of conditions for the time energy, right? Yes. yes. You want to sign it today? Mm-hmm. And we're adding extra... Um, 31 conditions for purchase mm-hmm. agreement that yeah. we have. And that's it, right? Yeah. I don't write anything. Yeah, there's actually um, uh, installed fence, fencing along uh, non-parking areas. Okay. Okay. Yeah, install six foot. Okay. Yeah, install six foot vinyl fence along non-parking perimeter. Okay. Can you okay. Do Parking lot edge. Yeah, uh, you, you abstain? Yep, abstain that. So you, if you abstain, you don't yeah. sign it. That, that's fine. The four is all we need. Yeah. That's common. Yeah. It's just the design. Is there a reason yeah. why we want it vinyl? That's what he proposed. Yeah, he proposed oh, okay. yeah. I thought it was the, we were putting it in the conditions. I, I, went, for a rusty, I went for a rusty chain link fence untreated, but he, he said no. Okay. 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 Okay, that's it. Install six foot vinyl along the parking lot edge? Yep. That's it. Um, along the rear parking lot edge, just be specific. Along the rear, rear. and south side. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> really? South side, yeah, south side parking lot edge. Yeah, because on the south side of the building, which is the left side of the building, he said he was going to put a piece of fence there, and we want that there so the guys don't 
and if they've got all the pods saved, they hide. <laughs> you know, yeah. greasy transmissions and everything else. Yeah, but now they can just go out the back door yep. and they got yeah. a fence to hide there behind while they throw the engine block. There you go. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, at least they, at least they're screened from view. Yeah, we can. Oh. Okay. Look at the back in the first one. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.